up everybody we are at silver bell lake uh this is uh stop number one so i'm gonna get the lines out and we'll see what we can catch all right we got a jig a bobber and a worm All right, I've spent a little time here. Uh, as you can see, I think, look it out there. It is just full of weeds, it's low. I haven't been to Silver Bell in a long time. I try not to fish here, it's no good usually, unless you're a bass fisherman. Probably gonna go ahead and check the other side of the lake right now. See if it's any less weedy. Right now I'm just trying to catch anything, bluegill, and they're not biting, but they're surfacing. So, I'll wrap it up. Next spot, Let's see what happens. All right, somebody asked me to go through my gear and uh, my setup and my rod and reel, so. It's just a simple slip sinker with a bead to a swivel and then a circle hook. I'm using a quantum strategy with the same reel. It's just a combo I found online. Let me just check that out there. This one, this is just a Shakespeare ugly stick, a spare one I had, and then uh, I'm using it with my Fluger try on reel. I had a Fluger rod, but somebody stepped on it, but that's all good. So now it's on this rod, and we've just got a bobber and a jig set up, and it's just tied straight to the line. And uh, we're gonna go for bluegill and crappie. I highly doubt I'll catch any crappie on this side. They're usually over by the island or way over where I was fishing earlier, not getting a single bite. Not even a bluegill bite. So we'll set up here and see what happens. This is my dad's old favorite spot when he would come fishing by himself. So I thought I'd fish this spot for a little while. And if I don't get any luck here, I might fish that, that little creek that goes to the Archer Lake. But I don't guarantee nothing. I might end up just saying forget it and going to that spillway. But we will see. Looks like we got some bass or something moving around over here. So what I'm going to do is get a, uh, a gulp minnow on here and uh, just toss it out and reel it in slowly. Bluegill, bass, crappie, they'll all bite it if they're around. So we will see. Crappie. Giant crappie. My first crappie out of out of silver belt and it's that big. Can you believe that? No way. No way. Oh that is just insane. That is just insane. What a fish. He's skinny. Look at that thing. Let's see if we can let this crap. 
crappy go. I don't know if he's going to make it. Yes. Gone. Yeah. Yes. It's like the bluegills moved in. What's up? This is David Chino Bassin. Check him out. Heck yeah. Uh, hopefully down the road we're going to be doing some flathead fishing. Probably sooner the better, man, because yeah. as soon as it gets cold, they're going to go deep. But I will be having a boat here soon. So yeah, man, let's get we're gonna it. We're going to get I'm out excited. there. You Appreciate can bass that, fish and Heck yeah. catch some flathead. Let's get it. I'm ready, cool. man. I, the only other flathead I caught that I don't count was on a jig at Patty. So. Oh, you can count that. Yeah, all right. You I was about to count say, that. I want to catch a, I want to catch a monster on a oh. on a bluegill or something like that. I've too, only so. caught the 19, so I need to catch uh -oh. something over 20 at least. Mm -hmm. At least. That's man. a big one right there, regardless. It, yeah, but that's a DD. When you're so close to getting that 20. Oh yeah. Like 19. <laughs> one come pound, on. One pound off. Come yeah. on. Chino Bassin, check him out. Good dude. Got some fish over there. All right, let's get back to it. That was awesome. Seems we moved to the right spot. Looks like he's just lost all his little spots. Not a big one, but still a channel cat on a worm. Let him go. Decent little channel, let's let them go. Okay. Oh. 
What was that? What was that? All right, well, surprising day at Silverville. As you saw, we started off on the uh, west side of the lake. Absolutely no bites, real shallow, lots of weed. We go to the east side of the lake and we catch the biggest crappie I've ever caught out of an urban lake, a channel cat and a whole bunch of bluegill. Uh, pretty good day. Uh, I don't have anything else to say really. Uh, maybe check out David's uh, YouTube. He posts when he can. That's Chino Bassing. And uh, look forward to some videos from us in the semi near future. Uh, we're going to go out and try and get some flathead at least. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you that watch these videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.